It's the show that made Simon Cowell a household name, along with Carrie Underwood, Kelly Clarkson, yep, American Idol. It changed the face of music and reality television, and now it's back, promising to be bigger and better than ever before. Can they pull it off? And this is American Idol. Here we go! After 15 seasons on another network, last year's swan song for American Idol included a cryptic sign-off at the finale from host Ryan Seacrest. Good night, America. For now. Did he know something we didn't? Drum roll. Because it was just today. Exciting announcement. We can reveal right here for the first time, ABC is bringing American Idol back. That's right, our tears had only just begun to dry. It wasn't a goodbye, it was kind of a so long farewell, see you soon. I have not missed it, but I will, I will watch it again. Immediately, Hollywood's abuzz with potential judges and who might host. Kelly Ripa prodding Ryan Seacrest this week about a possible repeat performance. I, typically, I really only save prayers for world peace and people who are very sick and stuff like that. But I am, I, I'm going to start a prayer circle. Because I love, <laughs> you know, I, lo I was like your original fan. No, I know that. I, you I would love to see a woman in the position and love to see a mom who is also a comedian um, that can also carry a tune, Heather McDonald. No confirmation on that yet. American Idol was a showstopper and a game changer, the highest rated show on television for eight consecutive seasons, more than 36 million viewers at its peak. It gave contestants a truly national launching pad. And people watch because you never knew if that next contestant might just take off. Was like this giant Cinderella story. Everybody knew that Kelly Clarkson had been a waitress, and then she was a superstar. The winner is Kelly Clarkson. Clarkson was an unknown singer from Texas when she won season one of American Idol. Millions of albums and three Grammys later, she's a bona fide star. With hits like Stronger and Since You've Been Gone. From the start, I thought that Kelly Clarkson was a great singer. She's a, a very strong person, and that really came through in the career that she's had ever since. And who doesn't love Carrie Underwood taking a smoke break? Sometimes I need a smoke break. But mostly belting out powerhouse anthems like Before He Cheats. 12 years ago, she was just another contestant on season four. Cause I can't make you love me. Going to LA for me for American Idol was so scary. You know, I was crying like in the car on the way to the airport. Cause not only was I flying for the first time, but I was flying by myself. Carrie Underwood went on to sell more than 64 million records and win seven Grammys. To say that this show was a juggernaut is almost an understatement. It is the one show that has given us stars that you, you don't think of them as American Idol winners. You think of them as, as stars in their own right. Even losers could end up being dream girls, like Jennifer Hudson, sent home early on season three, despite being widely praised by the judges. But it all worked out. Jennifer Hudson. That performance won her an Oscar. It wasn't just the contestants, the chemistry between original hosts Paula Abdul, Randy Jackson, and Simon Cowell, part of the reason for the show's success. I would just like to see Simon, Paula, and Randy all come back. I really think that will be the key to getting people excited to watching it again because we miss that original magic. And Simon's signature snark showing that the truth sometimes hurts. I think you're amazing. Really? Uh, it's amazingly dreadful. Or will he be all softer now that he's like a dad? And will Paula still be like as wackadoo? Will Randy still have his weird glasses on? I don't know. The trio eventually moved on, replaced by a revolving door of celebrities. Among them, Ellen DeGeneres, Steven Tyler, J-Lo, and of course, Nicki Minaj, who famously feuded with co-judge Mariah Carey. Nobody said every moment, oh, excuse me, the, the, the music will cut me off if I, can I make, oh, darling, darling. This is American Idol. The one constant perennial host, Ryan Seacrest, 
I was terrified. I put on a, a bit of a brave face for the first couple of episodes. I wasn't quite sure how to run a, a live television show. In 15 seasons, there were plenty of unforgettable performances. Talk to me, tell me your side. Remember William Hung? No one's ever gonna replace Shebang Shebang. Do you remember the guy? Shebang Shebang. And if imitation is the greatest form of flattery, Idol must have felt deeply flattered, paving the way for shows like America's Got Talent, X Factor, and The Voice. Despite that, the pioneering show suffering dwindling viewership and finally giving its then final bow. Trent Harmon! By the end of American Idol's reign, they weren't turning out stars like Kelly Clarkson and Carrie Underwood. But you never know. If this show comes back and people have the appetite for it, if there are people that viewers connect to and there's somebody on there with talent that, that brings something that we haven't seen before, I think that absolutely another superstar could come out of the show. A moment like that could make this gamble pay off.